After a hat trick at the end of the last episode against Hull City, Zaki Lepchenko is now first on the top scorers in the championship with eight goals in seven matches. Leicester City is still five points behind Leeds United, so we have to work really hard in this next match against Coventry to be able to at least keep that five point gap just in case Leeds United refuses to lose a to lose a freaking match. I'm going to be playing the highlights, so let's see how the team does. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on post notifications so you'll be notified when I drop a new video and also leave comments on what you think about the series in the comment section. So let's get into the match. So apparently Leicester City versus Coventry is a derby. But we're supposed to get a six point five match rating, complete two passes and um get at least one goal or assist. I'm going to do the middle one the passes because that's pretty much the easiest to accomplish. All right, so they're attacking first, and this guy is running straight to my defense. Counter attack, possibly. And the for yeah, yeah. Harry Winks plays so I, oh, I'm, I'm still with the ball, currently. Well, we still a counter attack anymore, but we still have, we still have an attack. So let's see what, let's see how we can win. The defenders know you can't really allow space like that. Chance to cross. Okay. Take it wide. Back. Okay. Assist. Come on. All right. So that was that was that was good. Just weren't able to 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 get the finishing touch on that chance there. So they have given us a free run into the box. My player is not going to score, but we at least get the winning goal in this match. Or rather, or at least we get a win in this match. They have one last attack, which we have to defend with our lives here. So let's completely block this one from happening. If I slide, is there going to be like a... Oh no. Now he must favor the cross. All right, so that was good. Thank, thank God. Thank God that we did not lose that match there. Well, all right, so we didn't score, but we actually had a good game, I think. I don't know what our, our rating is going to be, but let's take a look at it. Because 7.1 is greater than a 6.5 that we were asked to get. So, I mean, that's still, that's still kind of good. Up next, we have Watford to play against. Let's see what we have here. Really good by Premier Footballer. Sorry, like for example, I think my investment is ready. Okay, so I'm getting 42.5. I don't think I made a gain there because I paid 42.5. But whatever, let's just leave it as it is. Really, nothing I can, I can do about I can do about that now. But this less on um, what could match. I don't know if I want to play or no, but I probably will just play the highlights. We are now in level 15. Yeah, I'm really not interested in playing the full match, especially because there are chances so they are still a bit high up the table. But I mean, I still wouldn't want to play all. Of the whole match, like the full match, I don't want to do that. Yeah, the cutscenes are really nice, actually. I don't think I've actually spoken about this particular one, but I hope that we can actually do better than what we did last match and get a win here. 6.5 match rating, one goal or assist, and complete one pass. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to enhance that one and let's see how well we can do in this match. All right, first up is the Leicester attack, and I have no idea how we got in this position, but Daka. Was able to score that for some reason. So we have another um, opportunity here, and I feel like I can do something. I can probably get something off this. Ah, right, that was close. Yeah, that was that was a good shot, even though it was kind of towards the keeper more. Crossing opportunity for Leicester. All right, we haven't scored yet, but um, this is a chance for our player. No. Assist maybe? Alright, so we do get an assist, so that that is something. I really wasn't expecting expecting him to score that there. But I mean I was able to make something out of that, so that's that's pretty good. I don't think they have anyone I should be really worried about for the corner. But let's see though. Maybe I can turn this into a counter. Hopefully Justin gets something on it. I 
All right, so I've heard yeah, card turn into a counter, but that's another one year win. We don't score, so we're still um going through a goal drought after the hat trick that we scored. But not to worry though, we will be back if I play a full match or something like that. This match is the match that I'm so scared for. It's the next round of the Carabao Cup. I don't know which round that is, but we're facing Manchester United. That's going to be the toughest match, the toughest picture we have ever played. That's like Le Levchenko is ever going to play. But we have Plymouth Argyle before that match. We have already played them before. We beat them every single time we play them. So I'm going to be simulating that match. And then I'm going to be playing this one as the first match for this episode. So we're not scoring goals, but we're doing pretty well in the matches because we're getting assists, we're getting shots on goal and stuff. I mean, we're getting over the recommended or match rating that the manager gives us. So that is something. I mean, it's not every time that we can score. I mean, this is literally our first season. so. I want to call him some slack. So we do win the match though, by the way. I, I don't know why I didn't talk about it. It was 1-0. I don't know why I didn't say anything when I was on that. But um, we did not do well. But I mean, we still made another 1-0 win. So next up, we are going to be having the match against Manchester United. I invested in a phone up last time, but I'm going to put my money in a in an eSports team this time around. And 30 days to finish the, like, like for the return on the investment. So I guess I'm good. Um, the standings, we are... Okay, this is round three of the Carabao Cup. I really hope, I mean, I doubt, but I really hope that we might be able to do something in that match. Um, Leeds United have dropped points again. They dropped points like mad, really. They, they drew their last two matches, which has gotten us to, or rather, they won and drew one, which has gotten us to just one point behind them. So the chase is on. We are chasing them like we are right behind them. So if we win our, our, our next couple of matches, then we probably are going to be able to overtake them and hopefully keep our run of form. We have Manchester United right now. And yeah, this is going to be a tough match. And I don't know why the coach is putting out this team. I mean, I don't know if there's anybody better than Braybrook or Makatia in the team, but this is what we have. And this is what I'm going to play with. So let's hope that we can. I mean, it's Manchester United. So, I mean, there's every possibility that we're going to get absolutely railed in this match. A special atmosphere and a grand occasion. One the players and fans alike have been anticipating in the tension-laden days leading up to this fixture. But now the talking has to stop and the football must take over. Who's going to emerge victorious? It's a hard All right, so we're just walking out of the dressing room and we're supposed to get a 7.5 match rating, 60% 60, 60 conversion rate, and again, it's in possession rate of at this point. This is not going to happen, and I'm going to enhance this one to 65. And yeah, we are good to go in this match. Let's hope that uh, Leicester City can help me out here. And oh, yeah, this is also a really good opportunity for like the big teams to actually like notice that there's a player in the championship that is making waves really so I, I i hope that we can actually get a good match here against manchester united and yeah let's hope that ten Hag might see something in us maybe and want to bring us to a scene in january hopefully that happens i mean i mean i don't think the game is as realistic as that yet oh my god how did that ever happen how the hell did that ever happen that was a very very disgusting deflection i was I just finished talking just now and just like that we scored. All right, so I don't know what the hell that was, but I don't know why that pass was so bad. Come on, like, that pass could be so much better than that. Because it just, it just put me in a very tough position because I didn't know if I was going to be able to, like, get around the Manchester United defenders. But, I mean, it's already done. I mean, it was, it was a good shot. It was just blocked. So let's hope that we can do... We can... Um, get better next time all right so i have a chance here to do something and yeah i mean i wasn't even looking for who to pass to to be honest but how close is that actually i mean it was it wasn't it wasn't that far although the keeper didn't die but i mean it was still it was still something i wish i could on target though but i mean we can only try, right? I probably should have tried to pass or something there, but I just... I was tunnel vision like mad. Alright, so... Yeah, obviously. We're getting absolutely railed, like I said before. 
getting absolutely screwed by Manchester United and really it's not it's not it's not anybody's fault. They're just a way better team. Even though Leicester should be able to hold their way against Manchester United, like look at that. They told me there was no better way to make that pass. And um, 3 0. Alright, that was a good save from the keeper. Come on guys, let's try to get the ball here. Deflection and it goes off for another corner. Alright, that's not going to go out. Let's hope that he doesn't. Alright, so that was good. Well, let's see if we can actually build build something up here. Alright, so nothing happened, but they obviously scored. So that's 3 0 before half time for them, and yeah, this is this is not not looking very good for us. Not looking very good for us at all. Joe's getting seven point six in this match, if I'm not wrong. But I mean he's just I mean they're just completely open. Like the defense is just completely open. And there's I mean I'm I'm, I'm not controlling them, so there's really there really isn't anything that I can do. I'm not really mad because it's Manchester United we're facing. I'm not really expecting to do really well. I'm not really expecting for the team to do really well. It's more like a hope and stuff. But I just want to be able to try to to get a goal before we get knocked out. And maybe even who knows, who knows, maybe we can even come back. And definitely not with stupid stupid ass stupid ass plays like that. I mean what the hell was that really? Alright, what can I do here? Come on, you guys do something and get the ball back. It's just corner after corner after corner. It's really there's really nothing that I can do really. Come on, can you get this to me? Yes you can. Let's see what would happen here. Join us for this one live on EA TV. It's Leicester City facing Swansea City. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. All right. It should be a good game. Come on. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's yeah. curse. Yeah, I mean, we did really well there, to be honest. But the finish just wasn't on target. But, I mean, it was it was close. It was really close. If it was on target, the keeper would have got no chance to save that. All right. So, we have a chance here. We can probably go all the way through. Pass, maybe. Hell no. I probably should have passed. Fuck. The left leg, the left leg was was shit, and I probably should have played the ball on the ground instead of in the air. But we have a corner here. Nothing comes of it. Yeah, nothing is happening basically. We've had a better half than the first half right now, but. He has teammates around him. Good idea. Ah, crap. That defender just it's put me off. I just want the team to get like a consolation goal or something like that, end. if possible. I mean, it's, it's, it's possible. It's not something that is completely out, out of the realm of possibility. No, it passes like that. Come on. Come on. Am I... All right, so this has to be a goal, right? Has to be. I don't even know what to say. This keeper, the keeper is just for I, I'm the coach of his out team, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was not a good, it was not a good game for us at all. I mean, I really wasn't expecting um, a good game, but wow, Niamhchi scores when he comes on for me. That is. That is not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. I wanted to get some form of recognition from Ten Hag in that match, but I guess that's not possible now. Because yeah, we did absolute shit in that match. We got a 6.5 ratings. I mean, it's not really that bad for a match against Manchester United. But yeah, we could have done way better. Um, We have Swanty now, and then we have Leeds coming up next. And this is a very interesting match because that's going to be a possible decider for who gets to stay top on the table. So we actually had a better team to play against Manchester Frickly United and the coach decided to... Uh, I mean, how the hell would you even play... Why would you play your best team when you're playing a team like Manchester United? Like, come on, that, that makes no fucking sense, to be honest. Alright, so what do we got here? You get a 6.5 match rating, probably one pass, yeah? And at least an assist or a goal. So obviously, we're going to enhance this one. We're going to call for my player here. 
try to get round doesn't work out still works out right now and can we get why did you see Shidaka? come on that like I'm, god the game the game legit screws me over so much why did you just switch to Daka there all right a penalty for them and yeah crap probably went the wrong way so let's hope that we can get two goals to win this match let's just see solo run so this has to be a goal from Daka. absolutely has to be a goal I don't see I don't see any other outcome really. Come on. She actually didn't score that. She actually did not score that. But solo run. This is going to be an easy tap in for my player. I don't know why he's not running, but come on. Why why are we unable to score? Alright, let's try and see if we can get a semblance of a goal here. All right, so nothing from the bat. We, we've obviously lost it, and if Leeds United to win their match, then there's no way we are going to be getting ahead of them, even if we win the match against them. Which um, that is just really, really, really sad. Counter attack. So one more chance, and of course, we of course we fuck up. All right, so and one chance, one more chance to score. We blew it. So this episode is not our episode. I don't know why the hell everything just got so bad after the really, really insane episode last last episode. All right, so we have Leeds United next, and of course they they won their next match, which is sad because if we win them, then we're not going to be able to to taste first at all. So it was a bad match against Swansea. We probably would have done better if I simulated the match or I played the full match. But Swansea was actually at the 12th position to poor, poor performance for us in that match. But we have a chance to do something in this match against um, Leicester City. And we're going with our best team. I think this is our best team. And uh, yeah, let's hope that we do win the match. If you guys have enjoyed the episode so far, make sure to hit the like button. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let's see what we can do in this match. All right, so what do we got for our objectives? 8.5. Wow, give us a set rate of at least 30. Take two shots, I'm going to enhance this one in the middle. And let's 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 get into this match. We 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 can do this, can't we? We can. We can. Come on, Justin, go and get the freaking ball. What are you doing? Oh my god, I, I swear to god, this camera, this camera will be dead for me. Okay, that was a good pass, and what can we do here? Oh my god, that hit the fucking post, and the keeper saved it again. And I don't know why that guy did not, like, contest for that ball. He like, just left it for the defender to, like, claim it, alright? So let's hope that nothing comes out of this. I mean, it's looking, it's looking really dangerous. Come on, get it. All right, so that's the end of the first half. Nothing much has happened, really. It's just been back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We haven't had a shot at all, really. So I, that that is that in itself is not is not that good. So let's hope that we can actually turn this around in the second half. All right, so I'll straight at the keeper. All right, come on, just no. All right, so that's a good save from from Ward there. Oh, that guy kind of looks like Angry Ginge. I'm not going to lie. All right, so what? How, how do you? How the hell do you miss that? How the hell do you miss the tackle? What the hell? All right, so let's hope that we can actually get something out of this corner here. Counter attack, real quick. Yes. And can we can we make this? Can we make this? No, not so far. Ah crap! I screwed it. I screwed it up at the end there. All right, it's really fun to run at the defenders. All right, so we have some sort of opportunity here, and we have the ball still. And oh my god, finally! We have gotten the goal that we've been looking for ever since our was really and finally that was that was a really good goal. Really good run from Levchenko. I mean like that was crazy. I mean the, the skill the skills like get past the defenders. I mean he didn't really go past them, he just like went a little bit to their side and so forth. He was able to get that goal and finally, finally we have gotten a goal against the it's pretty much the most important match of this episode. 
against Leeds United, and that is going that goal is going to get us one step closer, three points closer to them rather. So let's hope that we do not um fuck this up. Let's hope the team doesn't fuck this up. So I'm really counting on defense to actually to actually make something out of this match because there's still ten minutes, and they should be able to do anything in ten minutes. To be honest, let's not let's not concede right here at the death. Good ball over the top. Oh my god. Well, there was impending danger. Oh my god. Defending. All right, so we still have. Why would you pass that to me? Now the counter attack looks on. Come on. Oh my god. No. That could have been so much better if you use your freaking other leg. All right, so that's the end of the match. And we do get the win in the 80th minute. So I'm really happy that we at least win a match in this episode. I mean, we won a couple. But I mean, everything we've won here has been 1 0, 1 0, 1 0. We haven't scored about 1 in any of the matches. 8.7 match rating, 2 shots on targets, check. Conversion rates, nah, that's, that's fucked up. So. It was supposed to be like over 60 if I'm not wrong, it was 40, I'm, I can't remember. Oh, it was actually 40 if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it only was 30 and we enhanced it to 40 but we got we got 50. So that's actually good. So we actually had just two shots and we, we got one. We got the Man of the Match award as well, so that, that is good in itself. So we are, we are pretty much good. We were able to beat first position, which proves that we have what it takes to actually win this league. Even though the goal doesn't really have to be winning it because I mean we can go to the Premier League if we get um, first or second. But next up we have Cardiff City that match is pretty far away and then we have the match against Southampton next and then um, Blackburn. So I'm going to simulate all of these. Alright we're going up against Cardiff City first and that match ends in a 1-0 win. We do get a goal in the 67 minute to get our team the win and this is really cool. We are now first on the table. Leeds United obviously lost their like they lost a match for the first time and that has made us go above them. So we're not two points ab above them. So, I mean, there's still no room for errors here because if we lose our next match and we win the next match, then they're just going to like get ahead of us again. All right, next up we have Southampton, freshly relegated team. I don't know if, I don't know where they are on the table though, but yeah, we have a shit ton of skill points right now. But I don't want to use any of those just yet. Anyway, Southampton is actually fourth on the table, which means that I'm going to play the highlights for this match. Even though I probably shouldn't, because if I do, I'm most likely going to fail. But I'm still going to do anyways for your entertainment. All right, we're supposed to get a 7.0 match rating here, a one assault and two and, and one pass. So I'm going to enhance the, the one with the passes and. Let's hope that, I mean, we scored like two matches in a row now. So let's hope that this one, we can actually turn things around. So crossing opportunity for Leicester City. See what we can do here. And the keeper makes a very good save there. Southampton solo runs is not good. So let's, oh, this is really not good. But who is this person that is, oh my God, this is not good at all. Oh my god, we actually saved that. But can we like do a reverse counter? I don't know why we weren't able to. Like normally we're supposed to have like counters on stuff now, but we weren't able to what? How the hell how the hell do you miss that? What was that? What was that? Come on. Alright, so we're still with the ball here. Still with the ball. No, nothing really happening here. Well, let's try and go inside with our player. Can't really see a way in. But no, no, was if that was ever going to happen. Person would for Southampton. So this match is probably going to end like as a draw. But let's hope that the next. Oh my God. All right, so that is, that is really, really not, of course, yeah, that's the end of the match. Probably should have just simulated the fucking match, I would have won it. Yeah, the, the players didn't even do. I, I don't want to start the charts that we got in this match, to be honest, but yeah, it was, it was pretty disappointing. Well, it's a sad loss. I think that is our third loss. Okay, that's our third loss. And Leeds actually did win their match, so they are back on top of the table so it's a tough fight it's a really tough fight south Africa is now third and yeah that's that's good for them but this is going to be the last match of the episode against blackburn rovers and i think all right so we have this um spend halloween in gym we can't afford that 
um, Halloween party. Um, you go along to the team's Halloween party and make it splash with the most spectacular, with the most spectacular costume on the night. It's cool near the stadium, is really fun. Blah blah blah. Uh, I think I want to do this one with the Maverick. I, I want, I want to be a Maverick really. So investment, I think ours should be done. We got a loss. Looks like you take fancy dress as seriously as you take your football. Hope you had a good time. Okay, so the AJ got jokes, obviously. <laughs> we have 15 skill points. That is insane. You can probably get our acceleration up to 93. But I want to get the sprint speed up first. And let's see, physical. I don't need physical right now, or do I? I don't, yeah, I really don't, I really don't. I really don't. All right, so dribbling, um, attacking position, you can get that up. Then, all right, my weak foot, I wanted to work on my weak foot, right? Where is that? That will cost six points with heading and stuff. So if I do this one, it costs six points as well. And it's going to, all right, so let's do that. Yeah. And this will increase our finishing. Let's do that. So we have four more. Let's go back to dribbling here. This will take our um, skill moves five. Really don't need five star dribbling right now. So I'm going to go with that and fitting. Um, so start working on my free kicks. Volleys for that one, penalties for this one. All right, so I think I'm going to do that. And then I mean, wingers, so I need crossing a bit, so I'm going to yeah, do that. All right, so that's pretty much it. So we are now a 79 rated player. And yeah, we are going to be simulating this final match. And let's hope that we get the win. We should be the... Okay, so we're not the highest yet. And GD is only is on an 80, so we're not the highest highest um, defender yet. So highest player yet, rather. So jump to result, let's hope that we do get a win in this match. No, we don't. We draw the match. Nothing happens. We don't score nothing. All right, to be honest, this hasn't really been the best of episodes. We went through a goal drought. Then against Leeds, we scored. So we kind of lift, lifted our spirits up. And then we, con and we we followed that up with another goal in the next match. And then we're now in another drought yet again. So yeah, that's the last match for the episode that, um, that I simulated just now. And yeah, sorry if I talk really fast, by the way. I figured like when I'm editing that I actually talk really fast at times and uh, yeah I'm trying I'm going to try to like slow down like the way I'm talking right now because I mean so 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 it would just be like easier for you guys to hear what I'm saying and all so yeah this is the end of the episode Leeds United is now three points ahead of us so they they can have a little bit of breathing room again we are still the top scorer the joint top scorer with Patrick Bamford of Leeds United. We've been on 10 goals for a long time now. I don't really like that. We scored just two goals in this episode. It hasn't been a very good episode at all in terms of the goals that we scored. But Leicester City is still, is still hanging on to that second position. I really thought this episode was going to go so much more different, but it didn't. And there's really nothing I can do anyways. But you know, if you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on post notifications so you'll be notified on when next I post a video because I'm going to be posting F24 content every single day. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching once again. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.